we have another Nick. I guess it's the day of the Nicks. Uh, and it's interesting, in my phone, uh, in my cell phone, Mike and Nick. I tell you, I have so many Mikes and Nicks in my cell phone. And enough of that nonsense. My daughter plays volleyball at a school and for a club team, and she loves it. Well, I hope she does. Um, I'm not a big fan of clubs uh, here in the United States. Uh, in uh, at my daughter, who is, uh, I'll nicely say, five foot three, five foot four, was told by a club coach that if she joined the club team, she could get a Division One scholarship. Well, she did, you know, in academics, and both daughters. Um, but these club coaches, uh, they don't want their athletes to play any other sport. In, in this, the one that we had to deal with at the school I was at, the club coaches didn't want the athletes to be involved in student government, didn't want them to do extracurricular activities. In other words, the one chance in your life when you can do a school play, uh, a musical, be in the choir, and a couple other things, they were all against. Um, some of my daughter's friends went off to school to play volleyball, and they have massive debt because the scholarships often don't cover everything. Uh, I, I know I'm about to brag here, but both of my daughters, and, and of course Kelly has her master's now, their total debt for college is zero because of the academics. I'm not being a jerk. I'm just saying make sure your daughter does lots of other things. She is big for her age, uh, 13 next month at 5'9". At 13, is she going to keep growing? Uh, the joke I used to have it when I was at Utah State, they were in the national championships when I was there. When the volleyball girls would come into the room, I would go, hey, how are you? Hey, how are you? So, yeah. And around 130 pounds and wants to get stronger. She has been in the off-season program at school and was introduced to some basic lifts, but obviously that got interrupted with the COVID situation. What would you recommend as far as movements? Yeah, I mean, push, pull, hinge, squat, loaded, carry. Uh, reps and frequency of training for her. For reference, currently she can barbell squat about half her body weight for eight to 10 reps and can bench press that much once or twice. So she's squatting uh, 65 pounds, which, you know, that's there's nothing wrong with that. She will be doing sports-specific training, playing volleyball and some conditioning and agility work a few days a week. So I'm thinking strength and, uh, training would only be two or maybe three times a week. Obviously, the main goal is to support her athletic performance and resilience in case she gets injured. <clears throat> I hate to say this, but uh, if she decides to go on to the next level, it's not in case. It's inevitable. Uh, the old joke about uh, when, you, when you meet a Division I female uh, basketball player, you ask her, you know, about her ACL injuries. And she goes, how do you know I had one? Because you're a division one female basketball player. Um, she would also love to do a pull up and she's able to do several regular, not from the knees push ups, just because most of her girls at her age can't. So those may be a good rabbits for her to chase. I have a fairly well equipped home gym, squat rack, barbells, kettlebells, dumbbells, and an X bar. So we can do just about anything. I'm sure some body weight progressions would be a good start. Well, listen, you know, it comes down to this, Nick. I mean, that's what the site is made for, is what you just said. Um, go in there and uh, put, you know, put, go to the workout generator, because you don't want to do anything advanced. You don't, you don't want a bus bench program. You want two workouts a week. Uh, I would suggest maybe uh, program it for the hour. So pick two days a week. Pick that you have kettlebells, barbells, squat rack, the whole thing. Pick two days a week. Pick... Um, and then when you when it when it populates it for you, uh, week one will probably be like sets of eight, and uh, uh, you certainly can ramp back that push to something simpler. But that's exactly what the workout generator was made for, uh, and I would suggest sticking with it. Uh, use it. Make sure she types in done on it, and hopefully she'll follow the whole dashboard and floss her teeth and you know. Uh, extend the hand of friendship to somebody and read a good book because those are the important things too. Uh, by the way, I don't mean to come off negative about volleyball or any club sports. It's just that I am also adding this, these caveats to, to this. Um, I would, I would love to see her do a general program like that two days a week. And, and honestly, that might be something you two can do 
for her whole high school career. Uh, it'll be great for you and it'll be great for your relationship. Um, I'm amazed how often my daughters will tell stories of the weight room. Uh, at parties, they'll talk about things that happen in the weight room and they'll get, they'll get in each other's faces about who's stronger. And those are good memories. So uh, good luck to you, okay? And thank you.